Hello, hello, it's your boy, the German Potato. In the last few videos, I told you that I'm going to build farms in the next one. Which, I didn't. So let's build some farms today. And to be exact, only nether farms. Since there are quite some practical farms, which you have to build in the nether. And these are all the items we will get with the farms we built today. Oh, and I've added subtitles to the whole video since it is kind of YouTube standard nowadays. So feel free to let me know in the comments if I should continue doing that. But now, let's start with the first farm, which is probably one of the most used farms in the nether. A goat farm. This goat farm to be exact, which is a goat only farm. No XP since we already got this farm to get XP. So let's start getting all the materials we need for the goat farm. There we go, just a bunch of glass and wood left. Wool done. Let's just wait for the glass. Alright, this is enough. We just need about 15 stacks. Let's also make all the glass white. There we go. And now the final thing we need for the first farm are some turtle eggs. So let's just go to the desert. And I think we need some seagrass for that. We should definitely bring some turtles in here as well. Right, let's grab some seagrass. Alright, let's go find some turtles. There we go. Make a baby. Can you please just lay some eggs? No? Okay, let's find some other turtles then. You make baby, you make baby, you make baby, you make baby. Um, don't mind if I do. Yoink, 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 yoink. That should do. That's 17. Alright, let's bring all these shulker boxes to another waste biome. And let's start building the first farm. Alright, now to the probably most annoying part about building this farm. I have to place turtle eggs like that on every layer. There we go. Now to the probably most fun part. We need to place trapdoors all the way up. And then close them all. To the next side. And let's use an auto clicker this time. Yeah, this is not working. Alright, let me quickly do the other two sides. Alright, all done. And since I'm now about to place about 15k of magma blocks, I gotta use some frost walker on my boots. So let's just quickly head back home. There's some frost walker. Like, do we need any more than frost walker too? Let's just use those. Alright, boots goes on. And let's start building all the platforms. How could I even think for a second that this will only take 20 minutes? It took way more. Anyways, we now just need to build the killing chamber over in the overworld. Therefore, I just have to grab the coordinates from the center right here. There we go. All right, let's build the nether portal right here. Oh, and of course, before we go to the overworld, let's light all the portals. Let's light that portal and see if this farm is working. They link up, which is good. And now we wait. So let's do a quick AFK session. And after a 10 to 20 minute AFK session, I found the farm working. Definitely need to improve the storage system, but for now we stay with that. But with the first farm now done, let's head into the next one and get all the materials again. For this with a skeleton farm, I first had to find another fortress in Soul Sand Valley and build a platform for the skeletons to spawn on, while fighting against really annoying blazes. But my aim is perfection, so no big deal. <laughs> Alright, I really hope I built this platform in the right spot so this farm actually works. But I'm pretty sure I did everything right so far. Now we just need some walls and have to place them like every third block, not like that. With two blocks in between. Now we need a chamber for the iron golem. 
Ouch. And the portal in the middle right here. So let's do that real quick. And after building the killing chamber directly above the platform, I had to build whatever this is in the overworld as well. And the farm should be running now. Alright, who of you remembers the April Fool's joke I did with this farm in the last season? Let me know in the comments down below. But this farm should be completely done now and working. So let's stand right here and wait if they will get some weather skeletons to me. A few moments later. Now there we go. We already got our first scar, look at that. Alright, let me just quickly do an 8k session, because I just want the coal. And let's see how much with the skeleton scars we can get already. Alright, just like that, we got 15 more beacons. Well, we do still have to kill the withers though, so... And boom, there we go. And just like that, 16 beacons. Second farm, done. The next day. All right, so I've been AFK for a while at the gold farm, since we will need quite some gold for the next farm I'm going to build, which is a super fast pickling bartering farm. Also designed by no other than ENX04. Let me quickly go to bed, please. No. Oh man. All right, let's see how much gold we got. Oh. Okay, this girl farm is actually working really good. Like, that's about an hour. Maybe not even an hour of AFKing. And now let's get all the materials we need for the bartering farm, which isn't that much actually, into this shaka box. Alright, there we go. Let's get into the nether. And since this farm is so easy to build, uh, please don't look at me. I might try to build it slow, but it's still entertaining though. So you can rebuild it, like a tutorial or something. Let's see how this goes. First we gotta find the crimson forest. Yeah, this is promising. Now let's get onto Y117, which is right here, and dig out an 8x5 room. Just like that. Now let's build the shaker box loader and start right in this corner. Right, shaker box loader done. Now on this side for the bothering chamber. Alright, now let's get up here, clear out two blocks, open these, trap door right here, and now create a 16 by 16 hole, two blocks high, right here. Just like that, let's do this, for each corner, there we go, now let's count five blocks to the center, one, two, three, four, five, place a soul torch right here, do this for every corner as well, and clear out this area. Let's replace these four blocks, get the coordinates from this block right here, there we go, remove these again. And let's also get directly on the opposite of this trapdoor turtle leg down, like that, two glass blocks in front. And we just need a dispenser right here, containing two stacks of carved pumpkins, temporary block, server. Now let's get down, remove the temporary blocks, place a lever right here, which opens the gate, top slab and another observer. Now let's build a portal right here, get the coordinates, now on to the nether roof, find the coordinates of the big room, which is right here for me, and now pillar up till we're at Y247. Alright, we're at Y247, and we gotta wait 15 minutes for each stack of cuffed pumpkins now, so yeah, I'll be sitting here for half an hour now. Alright, it's been half an hour, so let's get to the coordinates of the portal we just built down at the shulker box loader. Build the portal, enter the portal, and go back to the nether. And we should be right at the shaker box loader. Um, see, that's why you don't watch a tutorial from a German potato. Yeah, you're supposed to light that portal. This is way too loud. All right, now we just have to break that observer, put the glass block right there, depower the lever, and make sure all the piglins... Oh, wait, I gotta wear some go boots. Come on, you gotta get into a corner. 
Hey hey, future TPCHD here. Well, of course I made a mistake building this farm since you have to do some things a little different in 1.19, but there was a way to fix it though. Alright, I just found out I gotta break that fence gate. Let's make this happen somehow. Okay, I got it. Now I need a soul torch. Um, yeah, there's no way I'm placing a soul torch right there. Oh, I got it. And now use a piston to drive in that top slab. Yeah, look at that. There we go. It worked. Wait, why do I have 64 calf pumpkins? No way, I died half of my piglins. Oh, man. Guess I got a AFK again. <laughs> Alright. We still lost some. That's okay, though. We placed the observer with a glass block. Wait, how, how did you escape? Anyways, let's close the trapdoor. Okay, trapdoor right here. Trapdoor right there. And two iron bars right here. Okay, this should do now. If you want a better tutorial, make sure to check the description for enx 4s original tutorial. So let's get all our shaker boxes, all our empty shaker boxes. Put them in here. Get a full inventory of our gold. We also need to place one shaker box up here. And if we now stand right here and throw in all that gold, go down right here should get tons of items yeah look at that oh my gosh this is way too many items wait i don't have enough shaker boxes for all that i don't have any more shaker boxes so let's just quickly get some more more shaker boxes into the system Damn, it's absolutely crazy how much stuff you can get with this. I mean, look at that. That's all full shaker boxes of stuff. And and it only took me like, what, two minutes? Two? Three? Four? I don't know. Not even five minutes. Now you're probably already thinking how I'm going to sort all these items. Well, there's no way I'm doing this by hand. Uh, instead, I'm going to build a sorting system with a shaker box unloader right there next to the gold farm so every time i go afk again to get the next batch of gold for the bathroom all the stuff we got before will get unloaded into a sorting system and obviously remove all the junk items we don't need so let's just quickly get all the materials we need and build a sorting system right in front of the gold farm All the stuff is sorting, and to make this look even better now, I want to turn this sorting system into a piglin head. It took me a while to figure out a nice block palette for the piglin head, but I think this is good enough. And since it is mostly from jungle wood, I had to chop some jungle trees. Now I also had to turn all the logs into wood blocks and strip them all. This was actually really boring work. Besides the wood, I also need some terracotta, of which oh no. I did not have enough. So I went to the Badlands and got some more. Yeah, I was too lazy to set up a beacon. And now with all the terracotta, I made some of it red, also made some bone blocks and grabbed some of these. Before I got the final block from the sorting system I built earlier. And now it's time to build. Well, I should have thought about the fact that blocks are a little darker in the nether, but there we go. The gamma mod makes it look better. Oh, and I probably need to spawn proof this. Does string work to spawn proof piglins? Let's check that real quick. Wait, I could have just used torches in here, right? Anyways, let's quickly check if there will spawn any piglins, pigmans, whatever on that piglin head. A few moments later. Oh no! Huh? Yeah, okay, so string doesn't work. Glowstone it is, I guess. And unfortunately, we need a ring of glass around. So no guests will spawn. Alright, let's see if this is working. Uh, Alright, let me do some research real quick. Alright, so apparently I can only avoid pigments from spawning by placing slabs. But that will ruin the look of that piglin head. I need to keep that glass up there. So I guess... We just have to work with that. But now that that farm is done as well, I think the final farm I want to build is 
rock light farm. So let's get all the materials. There we go. And now let's roll some nice music and build the farm montage style. farm is already kind of working i mean if i go up there at a k spot it is working as you can see but we are missing the most essential part the frogs so let's use that staircase and the portal and see where we end up in the overworld maybe it's a swamp already um yeah that's not a swamp all right so i flew back home to find some frogs in the mangrove swamp near my home but it's actually not easy finding these guys so I went to a regular swamp trying to find some there. Five minutes later and I spotted the first two frogs. Now let's use some slime to breed them. And once the frog laid the tadpole, egg, thing, whatever. I also placed a fence to make sure the frogs don't move too far. And then I waited. But since this takes so long, I also searched for some more frogs, which I put into a hole this time. By waiting, I built a portal. And when I got 12 tadpoles, I linked up the portals with the nether and brought the first four red frogs to the nether. With the tadpoles I could now breed the four white frogs in the savannah biome, which I once again did in a hole, linked up a portal with the nether and did the same thing in the cold pine to get the green frogs. And now let's wait. Later. It took me 15 minutes to realize you can speed up the grow up process of the tadpoles by 10% every time you feed them a slime ball. And within no time they grew up. So let's bring them over to the nether. And do the same thing with the green guys. Now that I had every 12 frogs, I grabbed them all at once and walked to the farm. I tried to get them in all at once, but some didn't make it. So I went to grab the rest, but... I was left with three red, two white and two green frogs. So with the two tadpoles I had left, I made one green one and one white one again. Brought them over and went AFK. There is something satisfying about watching all the frogs eat those magma cubes. Ouch. Hmm. I like that. Anyways, let's check the boxes. Ah, yes. I don't know what I what I would need all these frog lights for, but we got them now. Look at that. Oh, let's get all the green ones and the purple ones, I guess. Look at that. One hour of AFKing and we got one shaker box of each block of frog light. Now once again, here's a list of all the items we can get with the farms we built today. And usually I will end this video right here, but I've also been on ski vacation again a few weeks ago and I made a little montage of the trip we had, which I would love to share with you. So much love if you keep watching, if not, still much love though. And thanks for watching. German Potato, over and out. Bye bye. Fad.